What's going on guys? This is Raymond Ironbody McKinney. And today, I wanna to talk about, in simplest terms, how I view manifesting. Particularly, deliberate manifesting. Purposefully manifesting. Consciously manifesting. Really paying attention to those small details. And just realizing, hey, life can be lived more simply and magically. So what do I, what's my perspective on deliberate manifesting? Well, in simplest terms, manifestation just means outpictured. Everything, like the sky behind me, that's manifestation solidifying into objective fact. What we assume deeply within our, our dominant assumptions solidify into objective fact. Our collective assumptions, collective dominant assumptions, solidify into objective fact. <coughs> and, you know, we live in a world where it's like we assume outside of ourselves. The external, like assuming the external world is solid, quote unquote, and cannot be altered. And guys, your world is always in constant state of flux. How, however subtle it is, it's always changing. The weather patterns, the, just these things. Me talk, me walking right now here, every moment is a manifestation. Every mo moment by moment is a manifestation for all of us. And I also see the world, our worlds are colliding within each other, just converging simultaneously in the infinite eternal now. <clears throat> and where we, like where we see those synchronicities or coincidences seeing those people out of the blue when we think about when we kind of deeply think about them and then they show up show up out of nowhere my assumption is that we've all experienced something like that at some point in time and most people many people would say coincidence it would have happened anyway and Wayne Dyer said something interesting in one of his videos where it's like coincidence when people say coincidence like random or something like coincide coincidence it's coinciding with each other everything's falling in perfect position and I, I liked how he said that where even when you call it coincidence it's still going to happen anyway <clears throat> so there are no accidents or random occurrences in this universe The only reason it seems that way is you assume it random. When you assume things are random, when your dominant assumptions are ran, are assuming things random in this universe, you're going to experience randomness. Randomness, and that's a manifestation. You're you're manifesting random occurrences. <clears throat> but realize your dominant assumptions, your deep root assumptions, out picture around you. Everything outside of you is a direct reflection of what's going on within your inner dominant assumptions. Your inner dominant assumptions put you on that path of synchronicities or those opportunities like open-mindedness. Assuming for yourself just being open-minded to the possibilities. And then <clears throat> Bridge of Incense is lying up for you. So, I and this is really exciting. If people, more people, if more people realize this, how powerful! Like, it's amazing that our assumptions literally outpicture everything. Like, just think about it. the people. Like, you assume, say, like. And inner conversation, you're assuming a, 
a horrible conversation with like say your boss or something then your boss has a compelling urge to treat you bad or something like that but if you change that air in conversation that you're confident in yourself and you see that that person is good to you it may take some time but they're just a reflection of your inner dominant assumptions and I've seen it happen in my life I've changed my inner dominant assumptions not saying affirmations I am I am so confident I'm so confident no I literally just feel change my inner state of being and I notice people treat me relatively differently because I'm not, I'm not saying to be perfect with this stuff but I'm saying to really pay attention to those things to really be open minded to the possibilities because I was in a space where I didn't see any I didn't I didn't see anything like that I I was in that doubt state. Just. But really paying attention to stuff. It's amazing. Just to realize. That. You. <clears throat> that you affect this world. That you affect others. <clears throat> People feel compelled. To, like. I've seen it happen before. I've tested it on, say like having an inner conversation with someone I haven't talked to in a while. And then all of a sudden they message me on, or they comment on one of my videos or something. Has never commented on one of my videos. I don't think, I don't think that person's ever commented on my video before. And some people say, well, that would have happened anyway. And to me, that, that was a very out of the blue moment. Um, so I speak from experience that deliberate manifesting law of attraction assumption whatever it works I'm not, I'm not saying put your life on hold or anything like that I'm not saying to quit your job just saying oh I'm going to assume my life is all perfect if you don't feel confident about still do your job still do the things that need to be done because Change those inner dominant assumptions. It may take some practice. Playing the game of life is, does not mean to ignore your current reality, your 3D reality, whatever. It means to use this as a supplement in your everyday life. Whether you go to bed having that inner conversation with someone congratulating you as if you're that person already, and the practice set. Those, syn those synchronicities start to happen. Everything's here, guys. Everything's on a higher, grander scale. Everything's here. Our worlds are colliding. It's just a matter of tuning into aware, putting our awareness into that um, reality. And then the, that's, that's how I see it. Simple as that. So simply put, have your inner dominant assumptions of um, just things that empower you. Whether it's that relationship, or that business, or health, or wealth, or any of these things. What means to you most? How real does it feel to you to bring those tones into reality and to embody those tones of reality on a regular basis? If you keep doing this, if you keep practicing the tones of reality, get into the feeling and embodying the person you desire to be. It directs all thought and action. Every thought and action you have is your some it comes from your inner dominant assumptions. What you you you're always assuming. Your assumptions run your life. It's that simple. And uh, I liked how in, I think of in one, in ne one of Neville Goddard's um, chapters where he kind of referred to Ralph Waldo Emerson, famous English poet, or I think it's a poet, but he was saying 
basically on the lines of our assumptions are the hands of God. Uh, the hands of God molding our reality, molding everything together. And I think that's beautifully put. That we are the collective, that our collective assumptions are the hands of God. Or goddesses. If I'm refer referring to girls and stuff. But yeah, I know deep down that the God and goddesses reside within ourselves. That our bodies are sacred temples. So, I hope this video helps. I just wanted to kind of bring deliberate manifest in, in simplest terms. And uh, I wish you all the best and happy manifesting.